Hey, everybody, God bless you. We had a great Sunday uh, Bible study, and I just want to be able to do a quick introduction. We're talking about the fact that we're not under the law. We operate under faith. We are saved by the grace and the mercy of God. We're not justified by the law. And we, we don't operate from a cardinal perspective, but a spiritual perspective. You're listening today, and this is my introduction. We've got it. I, we had a, like about an hour, 21 segment that I have now cut down to uh, small segments for you to digest what we're talking about. So I want you to enjoy the study that's coming up. And just, do, but the bottom line is this, you're not under the law. I know people want you to be under the law. I know people want to sit there and condemn people under the law. But the fact is that you're not justified by the law. They know you're not justified by the law. And the fact is that you're not supposed to be trying to condemn other people uh, by the law because you live by faith. And we, we know that the law is there for a school math. We know that the law is good. But the problem is that it, it is weak to the flesh. Now we cook it. Now we work it. Now we doing the things that need to be done. You know, and uh, we come early this morning, eight o'clock. I'm a little bit off a little bit time for getting to, uh, to uh, start the Bible study, at least for me. <laughs> but let me go ahead and see if I can get this on the screen. Looking for my touch pad. Where are you at? All right. Get started here. Got it. Good morning, everybody. I hope y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week, praising his name, because that's really what it's all about. Glorify his name. We have another opportunity. This is a day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And I say that hallelujah. You know, and, and one of the things that thank you for those who are joining. I wanted to focus on the uh, law. <laughs> uh, you know, it's 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 been a I think it's been a challenge uh, for believers, uh, and I'm talking about believers, whether you're black or white, has been this 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 consistency of looking at the, the law uh, fixated with it, you know? And, and I'm trying to, I want to be able to cover it. The good thing about it, I, I'll cover it quickly. I, I even said that my intent from time now on is to try to keep the, uh, the segments of the, of the, of the uh, message uh, within the 30 minutes, an hour, uh, because I know most of you got some busy times and busy schedule. Uh, but it's always good time to make time for the word, especially on a Sunday morning. Uh, so we will get started and, and, and then we'll move from there. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three God in your name, you've been missing them. Now invite and receive the presence of the Holy Spirit and lead us and guide us in all truth. Heavenly Father, pray, move me out of the way, let the Holy Spirit have his way. Give us that word that you need us to go over today. Give us that peace that surpasses all understanding. Pray for healing. Pray for peace. Pray for love between all mankind. In Christ, Yeshua, Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. And what I've been looking at, is, and I want to talk about the law. Uh, and, and, and what I, the whole point is, is that I, at least from, from what I, from my perspective, what I've been saying for, for quite a while, and, and it is really is something like a tradition that people have is law enforcers somewhere along the line, you know, we've been called to preach the gospel. We all know that, but there's a, there's a spirit of, of legalism that I have seen uh, 
within between believers where they're more legal in executing and enforcing the law on people who, if you're cardinal minded, the law has no weight for you. Uh, if you if you're spiritual minded, you're not even under the law. So why are we more enforcers of the law when we're when the law has nothing to do with a believer? Oh, somebody said blasphemy or something like that. You got to be kidding me. What is the whole purpose of Christ redeeming us from the curse of the law? You, most of us want to hold on to the law. I see it for two reasons. A, to glorify the flesh. B, because you believe that's the only way to, to, to what do you call, modify or regulate behavior. Uh, and when I mean edify, I'm talking about you have this, you have something that you can tag somebody else as being deficient on, not recognizing that you really need to tag your own self, really, because all of us, my, my, the Bible I'm reading in the New Testament says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. My Bible talks about the fact is that you first, before you can try to move the, 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 the moat in somebody else's eyes, you need to move the beam from your own eye. Why is that significant? It is the intent is for you and me to work our own salvation, what the Bible says, and to help encourage somebody else to take on the challenges, the, the shortfalls that we all have. If we're so busy doing the, the I got you this and I got you that, then we 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 missing the whole boat. It's not, I mean, that's why the, the Jews could not uh, recognize Jesus. They couldn't recognize Jesus. They, the Messiah was right there in front of their, their face. And they couldn't recognize Yeshua. And you know the thing about it is Jesus, Jesus is a transliteration, the English version of Yeshua. Yeshua is the name of Christ the savior, it means salvation, savior, deliverer. And, and they couldn't recognize. They, they couldn't even recognize, they didn't have the love or the mercy, even Christ sometimes was just outright disappointed <laughs> in them because they couldn't, uh, they, they had no mercy, they had no grace. Uh, the woman, there was a healed woman on the Sabbath day uh, this woman had infirmity for over uh, eight, one of the things was 18 years, and 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 he healed that woman, and they sit there and rebuked him because he did it on the Sabbath day. And I'm saying it's like, what where does that anger come from that people have? That people, what, what, I mean, like. The New Testament is focused on mercy and grace. The Old Testament is focusing on the law. The law is a schoolmaster. But if the Bible said when the, when the, when the, when the schoolmaster comes, right, <laughs> then, then we're no longer under a schoolmaster. If we're no longer under a schoolmaster, then we need to focus on doing that which is, I consider, it acceptable in, in his sight. You know, uh, that's why I want us to sit there and learn to focus on the schoolmaster and say, look, I don't need a schoolmaster anymore. I need my savior. I need the Holy Spirit to lead me. I need to bear the fruits of the spirit. Some of the people say, what fruits of the spirit are you talking about? The fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such, there is no law. What I'm trying to say, and most people agree with it because no people don't want to deal with people <laughs> that bear bad fruit. You know, in Matthew uh, 12, 
33, it said he didn't make a tree, he said uh, he didn't make a tree good and his fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by his fruit. Now, most people I think that the reason I think some people have a problem with that is that they 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 now you they can't judge nobody if they're going by the fruits of the spirit. Because I think some people who are focused on the judging, thinking that judging is, is more uh, acceptable uh, to be able to show when you ain't got your act together. Opposed to the fact is that it's not about trying to see who got the act together. It's about lifting and edifying one another up. Is 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 the goal, the challenge that 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 a Christian fellow believers are gonna have one another. I I mean when I sit there and I and I and I know some people don't like talk about it, but when I sit there and look at the the atrocity of ministries, and I'm talking about ministries. We can we start all the way from the beginning of organized ministry, where I think even when they start off and then they they when, when Rome, you know, when they started to they try to kill the body of Christ, and all of a sudden they, they you know like okay we can't kill them. The more we kill, the more more God brings into the into the body. More people call because the Holy Spirit was continued as it is today to bring. Call people in. He said, if I be lifted up, Christ, I'll be lifted up after all men are to be. So even with Rome, the Roman Empire was trying to squash the, the, the gospel. They couldn't because the Holy Spirit knew and called those that are here. And, and, and that's what I want us to recognize. And the fact is that we, we, we need to understand the Holy Spirit is continually working and bringing, because the people he brought in at the beginning and even now, <laughs> uh, what were pagans coming in and being converted and, and turning their life over to their savior. And see, I said their savior because those pagans back in the old biblical times was just as welcome to the body as the Jewish people themselves. And, and what I'm saying is that when the organized religion came, when Rome said they said, well, okay, we can't beat them, let's go ahead and just bring them all together. Let, let, let's just let's go make everybody a Christian. And then that organized religion all of a sudden started to, for one thing, try to bring all the different branches and different ministries, small ministries into the, the, the universal church. And, and then the war, the fighting and the killing and, 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 and of, of any ministry that didn't line up with the universal ministry, uh, they were, a lot of were killed. I mean, you got all through history, you got up there the Spanish Inquisition, you got it with the Salem Whisper. You got it with, with the, the, the slave trade and, 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 and just say, well, you're a Christian, but you can go ahead and, and, and abuse a person. You can demonize, minimize somebody, uh, a human being, a person made in the image of God. They, we're going to now make them a demon. We're going to make them less dead. Not so, we're going to make them inferior. And now that means that you, they're talking about, look, talking about the body of Christ. It wasn't a body of Christ. I call it ministry. They call themselves Christians, or uh, uh, endorsed and accepted the behavior of, of, of what they did to those in the slave trade, those who were sitting there in the ship, those who were sitting there in, in uh, uh, youth, the worst conditions. And, and the, and the raping and the murdering on the ship. And then when they come off the ship, we come into a Christian nation, right? We call it a Christian nation. And then they still allow the atrocity and the brutality of a, of a, of a group of people 
and said that they it was okay in the name in the name of Christianity. I heard this, this stories of people saying that people, some of the ministers from the church, led lynching, celebrated, and yet they call themselves the church. There's people right now that 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 sit there and said that they are a part of the body of Christ and wants to kill people. I mean, we bring this up all the way up to 2022. 14 May, you got a man drove 200 miles or whatever to a, a, a shopping mall and claimed that he is being doing the right thing to kill people of color, to kill an old woman, kill an old one man, kill people, and said that his he did it for the, the, the superiority of, of the color of the skin. And I bet you, if you ask him, is he a Christian? What would you say he'll say? You got far right people sitting there saying they're professing they're Christian and say, I hate their brother. And then you got believers that go to church and still say they hate their hate somebody because they're either black or they're white or they're, they're Jews or they uh, or, or they have a different faith. Or they especially the days they they were talking about with the different uh, political parties. We got one party sitting there condemning an entire group of people, an entire another political party under the name of Christianity, an entire group of people are condemned and going to hell because of their position, their platforms on abortion. And then you got another group sitting there saying they other people going to hell uh, all of a sudden because they they believe in the rights and guns and and, and they, they, they 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 don't care about they they want murder they want high capacity look at this high capacity magazine war weapons used for war and say well we we got the right to bear arms but you don't have the right to choose Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.